Today on Scientific Tuesdays, I want to dig a little bit into our library and show you some of the best Scientific Tuesdays episodes that have come simply from fan requests. Hopefully I can give credit where credit is due and also show you some of our favorite experiments to date. Because honestly, without all of you out there, I'm just some random guy in my mother's basement doing bizarre and weird science experiments. To kick things off, let's take a look at Gallium. The request for this initially came from our good friend Max Puller. He wrote us and asked, You guys have probably heard of Gallium, but is there a way to make useful molds out of it? Well, the short answer is yes, so we went ahead and picked up some gallium. Using a couple candles as a mold, we were able to duplicate a key for my own home. Now that's pretty awesome. The next email we decided to pursue was from Pete Langley. His request wasn't very detailed, but we did figure out exactly what he wanted. Hey Dylan, I've heard of something called hurricane balls. When you blow air on them, they start spinning thousands of times per minute. I found some online, but they are super expensive. Any idea how to make your own cheap? We grabbed a couple ball bearings, some epoxy, and we created the most amazing spinning effect that I've ever seen. Once a blast of air was applied, the bearings started spinning up to deathly speeds. All we needed was a flat surface and the bearings. This is a super simple project you can do this weekend for under $3. Okay, and let's move on to one of my absolute favorites. We get a ton of prank ideas. Sometimes they involve science, sometimes they don't. However, this one did. Adam G sent us an email. It said, there seem to be many videos online about making breakaway glass, but no one explains it clearly and shows the finished product in action. Can you guys make some kind of test out of it? Now I love this idea because breakaway glass is something I've always wanted to create and more importantly, wanted to test out. After baking a mixture of sugar, water, cream of tartar, and various other items, I produced a perfect sheet of breakaway glass. The next step was to test it out on my unsuspecting brother. I happened to be visiting my family back home that weekend, so it was pretty easy to pull off. Trust me on this one, if you do decide to make breakaway glass, do not test it on your older brother's head. That caused some serious family issues for at least two to three weeks. In the end though, after much debate and argument, he decided that it was for the betterment of science. So those are just the first three in no particular order, but they all came from you guys out there in the audience. If you have suggestions of your own, send them to dylan at householdhacker.com or comment in this video. Either way, I'll probably see it. Without you guys and our sponsors, this show would not exist and you know what, we couldn't entertain you for five to six minutes at any given time. That's actually why I wanna thank Jack Threads because paying full price for clothing is a joke. Jack Threads serves up awesome clothing brands like Kit Robot, Stussy, even Hurley at huge discounts. It's a new invite only shopping club for all the dudes out there who like awesome clothes but hate steep prices. Now there is a wait list to join, but if you go to jackthreads.com slash S, Tea, you can skip that waitlist and get instant access. Seriously, instant access to all Scientific Tuesdays viewers. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Well, I'll see you next week when I get another chance to bow down to the awesome audience that is Scientific Tuesdays. Dub, step, exit. I'm a